Sony held a press event in New York City today to unveil their newest camera, the RX100 Mark VI. We got to shoot with it all afternoon, so we'll be able to tell you some things we really loved about it, some things we think could be improved upon, uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool camera. $1,200 Sony RX100 Mark VI is a 20 megapixel camera. The lens is equivalent to a full frame 24 to 200 f8 to f12.5. It shoots 24 frames per second stills and 4K video. In good light, image quality wasn't a problem. In low light, shooting things like indoor sports, the small sensor, and compact lens will produce lower quality images that will frustrate some users. It's a great purse-sized camera. Maybe it'll fit in your cargo shorts, but it won't fit in your front or back pocket. This market segment is kind of dying though, because we all already have pretty good pocket cameras, our smartphones. So how does it compare to my iPhone 10? At normal focal lengths, the image quality wasn't noticeably better. Plus, the Sony's limited to just five minutes of 4K recording time. The Sony won when you pushed it past 50 millimeters though. Look at it at 200 millimeters. That zoom is a versatility that no smartphone can match. At 200 millimeters, images were sharp and the camera focused fast enough for sports. You simply can't do that with a smartphone. If you want a small camera and you sometimes shoot sports, the RX100 Mark VI is our top recommendation. The Sony also offers an electronic viewfinder, allowing you to compose your shots even in full sunlight that would wash out your smartphone screen. Sharing pictures is still way easier with your smartphone though. With the Sony, you'd have to fuss with the Wi-Fi app or an SD card and then deal with their terribly confusing menu system. This is classic New York. We have a dog park over here and over here, naked sailors, literally naked sailors. <laughs> if you're big into selfies though, the camera is far better than the front facing camera on any smartphone and the smile shutter automatically takes pictures for you. This is the smile shutter. It works. Some people might have a big DSLR and they want a more portable mirrorless camera to carry around when they travel. The RX100 Mark VI is the first camera of its size with a great focusing system. In fact, the eye detection system, borrowed from the $4,500 Sony Alpha 9, actually makes focusing faster and easier than an SLR. You won't get the background blur or low light capabilities, but for its size, it can't be beat. Being able to shoot 24 frames per second is amazing, and the buffer is huge. Like other Sony cameras, however, it takes a long time to clear the buffer when you're shooting that fast. While the buffer is clearing, you can't open the menus or record video, which was really frustrating to me as a hybrid shooter. We were only shooting at 24 frames per second for the sake of testing the cameras, though. If you shoot more conservatively, it shouldn't be a problem. Sony advertises its usefulness as a vlogging camera, and it has a selfie screen and 4K video and amazing autofocus, so it should be great. However, there's no mic jack, no headphone jack, and not even a hot shoe. So if you're not happy with the on-camera mic, you'd need to use an external flash audio recorder and a bracket to hold it. And now your small rig is big and clumsy and you're syncing sound in post. There's also no intervalometer for making time lapses. That's a feature that's been standard for more than a decade, but Sony removed it from all their new cameras about a year ago. Sony, please give us time lapses in a future firmware update. For us, the battery died after just a couple of hours, so there's no way it's going to make it through a full day of travel shooting. So if you do get it, you'll have to travel with a USB charger. So when they first made the announcement, the Sony announcement, and I found out that it was an RX100 Mark VI, I was like kind of uh, a little disappointed because we don't typically review fixed lens stuff. The more I started shooting with it and the more I started talking to my peers that I respect, like Gordon Lang specifically, you can check him out in the link down there, he deserves it. Uh, I realized that it's a really capable camera. It's fun to use and it's just handy and practical. For example, it's got like a 24 to 200 zoom. I do a lot of B-roll on my phone. That would be really helpful. I get 24 frames per second. And like just the other day, I was trying to get action with my phone and complaining that it doesn't work. If I'm doing my vlog, I have this really heavy setup. I'm using it now, it's on a little tripod. This thing was like so light. Uh, I'll have to find a way to just select the cord this and then sync it after though. I'm glad that I like it. Like, I don't think people realize I want to like the things that I review and it's time. So far I do.